A lone marker on Route 125 indicates the site of the former town of Ellington. A thriving rural community of close to 700, Ellington was the first incorporated town ever seized by the United States government for an atomic production facility. All houses and businesses were removed or relocated to the surrounding area as construction began on the Savannah River plant in the early 1950s. Some 65 years later, the Department of Energy granted a five-year license to the Savannah River Site Heritage Foundation, enabling this nonprofit organization to conduct public tours through where Ellington once stood. During a recent ribbon-cutting ceremony in May, representatives of various SRS entities and the Department of Energy, along with former community members, opened the Ellington Heritage Trail and toured what was once, for some, home. It feels good. As a matter of fact, I've been looking forward to it. And I got one of my daughters here with me. I'm looking forward to getting back down Main Street down there and I can point out where the drugstore was and where the little movie was. At long last, we're able to offer escorted, guided tours to the public of the former community of Ellington. Uh, we've been working on this for almost 10 years and it has finally come to pass with a lot of help from a lot of good people. I left home May the 19th, 1950, not knowing anything about the announcement of uh, SRP in those days, and, and I was in, on a ship in Japan at the time, and this was in 1950, and I didn't get to come back home until uh, 2008. It brings back memories, you know, it, uh, and when we, when we received the news of moving out, was on November the 28th, which was my birthday. So that was quite a birthday gift, right? Till you have to leave your home. Good way to commemorate what the, the sacrifices these people made. You no, know, we don't want to ignore it. Just because it happened a long time ago, it still was a sacrifice. It's been 65 years since the folks moved out. Uh, I know many of these, these individuals, they're in their mid to late 80s. Uh, it's definitely going to be a memorial to them afterwards. It's, their children are learning about uh, uh, the town. Their grandchildren are learning about these towns. Having this open so they can come in will definitely keep the memory of the town alive and, and, and keep it on for the future. Sort of a homecoming. I guess uh, all this pictured in my mind, all these screens and covered everything, but the way I remember it from nine years up until 22 years old, why, I'll never forget it.